Hi, I'm Mark Sacco, and I'm here with the Mitsutori Quick Vision Active Machine, and I'm going to explain how to measure multiple features on the machine. So let's get into it. To do multiple measurements in QV Pack, what we're talking about is measuring the same repeating feature over and over again. So like the diameter that you see here, we can measure multiple diameters, and there's a couple different ways to do that in QV Pack. One way is to measure the diameter and then copy and paste it, or what's a lot of times an easier way to measure it is with what we call a step and repeat loop. So I'll show you both ways, but we'll start with copy and paste first. So in this case, the part that I'm using is the training template, like you see here. I've already written a program that's done an alignment to this part. And what I'm going to do next is measure the diameter that's at 93 millimeters in X and 10 millimeters up from the bottom edge. I'll measure that diameter, which is what we're already looking at in the field of view, and then I'll copy it and I'll measure the next diameter over to the right. So to do that, again, I'm already here, so that's nice and easy. I'll click on circle. We'll use the circle tool. We'll use the one click tool. I'll click on the edge and we get the measurement. So now I can click OK and I can name it, click OK, and we have one circle measured. Now I want to move over to the next diameter which we saw from the print was seven millimeters away in the X. So that puts us right here. And what I could do is I could take this circle, either right click and choose copy, or I could choose copy from the toolbar up on top. So copy it, come down to the bottom and click paste. So now I have a copy. All I have to do is edit the settings for this circle to make the measurement happen at this location of this second circle, rather than measuring the same circle twice. So to do that, I could go to my setup for measurement node, and in my properties panel, I could come in here and just change the X value. So we go from 93 to let's say 100, close enough, click save, and then we could do the same thing for the circle tool, X, 100, click save, and now when I run it, QV Pack's going to move back to the previous context, which is back at the previous diameter, then it will move to this diameter and take the measurement. So rather than creating the measurement from scratch for the second circle measurement, I'm simply copying and pasting the circle and then editing a few settings to change it to this new circle. Now there's actually an easier way to do this with step and repeat, so let's do that. So I'm going to take this copied circle, I'm going to delete it, I'm going to go back to my original circle, and from here we're going to create our loop. So I can right click on this circle and choose Promote to Step Loop. When I do that, a new window opens that asks me, is this loop going to be an array or a circular loop? So what that means is an array would be where the features that I'm looping through, if they're laid out in an X and Y, like columns and rows kind of layout. Or circular would be something like a bolt hole pattern where you have features laid out in a circular pattern. So if I go back to the print real fast, obviously these diameters are laid out in an array pattern. So that's what I'm going to choose here. So array, click OK. And a new window opens where I could put in all of the information for my array in this case, or more broadly, all of the information for my loop, including if it was a circular pattern. So here we want to say that we have, if we go back to the print, we have one, two, three, four, five columns in two rows. So I could come back to QB Pack and say that we have five columns and two rows and the spacing is in X, seven millimeters in X and 12 millimeters in Y. So I could say seven millimeters in X and 12 millimeters in Y. And here is my array now, or my loop, for all of the holes that I'm going to measure. I have to give this loop a name, so we'll just call it loop, nice and original. And another feature that we could do is, let's say that we are missing this diameter here. It's just not machined into the part. No problem, I could left click on it, and that feature will now be skipped. If I click OK, Notice in my program, now I have an array step and repeat loop. And if I want to run it to test it, I simply right click, choose run selection, and that entire loop will be run. So again, QB Pack has to move back to the previous context. And now it loops through all two rows and five columns of holes. 
That's how to measure multiple features on the Quick Vision Active Machine. Don't forget to check out our other how-to videos, or for more information on the Quick Vision line of machines or any Mitsutori product, go to mitsutori.com.